All right. Well, in the last video, we took a look at the um, the signal interface, turning that on, and the motion sensor and the track. And again, I want to remind you not to move the the signal interface box. Walk around it to turn it on. We spent a lot of money uh, replacing USB ports on those things. I've got this set up right now for a calibration. We need to teach Data Studio. That's the software that drives the motion sensor. We need to teach Data Studio how far away from the sensor a certain distance is. And if we teach it what we call a standard distance, it can then do calculations to find the distance anywhere along this track. So what I've done is I've carefully set up at the 10 centimeter mark. I've put the meter stick on edge to reduce parallax. And I've done my best to line up 10 centimeters with the front of this screen. And then I've positioned a block at about 120 centimeters down the track. So it's about 1.1 centimeters total from here to here, if I take the difference of these two. Then I want to make sure I carefully, re without moving the block, remove my meter stick for the next step. In the class support folder, which sits on the desktop, is lab 1, or maybe you're in physics 1250. In lab 1, I'm going to go into 1D motion. And inside here is a template, 1dmotion.ds. And inside here is a setup button. There's also a summary and a start button, but we're going to use the setup button to begin with. The setup is going to allow us to calibrate the motion sensor. And over here you can see a sample rate in Hertz. That's 20 samples every second. You can go up all the way up to 50 samples every second with the motion sensor. When I'm ready to calibrate, I'll click Motion Sensor. And remember, I p positioned the block. I positioned it 1.2 meters out. No, it was 1.1 meter. That's right. 10, and this was at 1.2. So the distance is 1.1 meter. So I want to type in 1.1 meters here. And you can see it's not properly calibrated. And I'm going to say set sensor distance equal to my standard distance. My standard distance is up here. I measured it myself. And when I do that, I can see it's properly measuring the distance to the block. And it might vary a little bit at this millimeter decimal place. And that gives us an idea of the uncertainty in this measurement. In this uh, little red circle is an X. And I can close out the experiment. Oops, I forgot. I'm still getting a loud ticking sound from the motion sensor. To turn off my calibration, I want to click the Measurements tab, and then the click is turned off. To check your calibration, you can just go back to here, and I can move this block closer or further away and just see if it's reading the correct present sensor distance. But do not click this button unless you've carefully measured out a standard distance first. So again, I'm going to get out of calibration by clicking Measurements, and then I can close the setup window.